Well, there's so many things about season one that come to mind. I mean, first of all, it was like camp. And when we left, I felt so sad. I'm so glad to be back. Uh, but getting to work with new songwriters that have that sort of fire of just trying to figure out how to get a song recorded, it goes far beyond just pitching the song for the artist on the show. Um, I wrote a song with Jack Newsom, who was in the Kelsey Ballerini episode, and Kenny Chesney just recorded it for his next record. And so he didn't actually technically win that episode, but... You know, I've collaborated with him, worked with him. I've worked with Iroh from the Macklemore episode. I've worked with Sam DeRosa from the Charlie Puth episode. Just those relationships and getting to uh, meet people that, you know, still have that wonder about it. It, it, really, it really is a way to vicariously live through that. Because, I mean, I did that for a long time, for 14 years be before I had a song recorded. And it's not like I've lost touch with that, but but it is so emotional to see someone who's on that side of things when they get those first songs recorded and just remembering that. You know, the, the thing that really knocks me out about Songland is that these songwriters perform their songs for these artists. I'm so glad that was not the way I had to do it because I would never have been brave enough. You know, it's about the song, about the lyrics, about the music. And I'd be too scared to try to sing it in front of these stars. But these songwriters come out and, and they really do put their best foot forward. And, and uh, I'm just blown away by it. I mean, I'm so excited about everybody. I'm really excited about Boys to Men, Icons. I mean, that, that's a little scary for me, actually. Um, just the, the fabric of the American songbook the things that they've contributed to music, to, to my life, to have anything to do with that just feels uh, beyond my wildest dreams. Um, I'm super excited that some folks from what I say my side of the tracks are coming to town with Florida Georgia Line and Lady Antebellum. I always like it when uh, someone from the country comes over. I feel like I'm, you know, in my element in that way. But I really also like getting outside of my comfort zone and I think I'm going to be doing that a lot this season. The opportunity that these songwriters get is far beyond getting their song recorded. That's just one part of it. To have Ryan Tedder, to have Estradine, be able to take your song and say, hey, you're this close. This one little move here may get you on the radio. What I wouldn't have given for that, for all those years of chasing you know, trying to figure out what is that secret thing that I'm missing. Um, these are the best in the world, and I'm honored to be a part of that group. And if there's anything I can contribute to just make it a little easier, to just give insight to saying, look, your chorus just needs to switch out with your verse, or maybe your hook's not right. Because sometimes we overcorrect as songwriters. It's like if something's wrong, we think everything's wrong. But most of the time it's just the slightest change and Songland is so good at honing in on that and hopefully that's what Esther and Ryan and I bring to it. There is certainly a newfound interest in songwriters and where these songs come from and truly I think before people didn't want to know who wrote the songs because they just wanted to believe their favorite singers were telling their stories, but they still are, because a great interpreter, a great artist, makes you think that it is their song, and they always record songs that resonate with them. Um, so I'm just happy that Songland is giving a spotlight to those that, that really do tell the stories, and that sort of turn their babies over and let someone else show them off. Um, it, it is creating a new culture and a new interest, and, and I'm excited for it. I know a lot of songwriters that deserve that attention. And the truth is, songwriters are the best storytellers in the world and the greatest characters. And anytime you really hear the history of a songwriter, every, every time it sounds like a movie, because whatever got us here to wanting to open our hearts this way is usually pretty interesting. It is exactly what I do every day. Um, I'm just dressed a little better. Most of the time when I go to the office in Nashville, I can just wear sweats uh, and, you know, 
just look like I'm lounging around, which is what I'm doing, you know, writing songs. So the only difference is that uh, I look a little better and there's cameras around, but the rest is the same. That's, that's actually been the biggest surprise is how true to the way we really work it is. The Rock and Rio performance of Macklemore and Iroh was one of the most moving moments of my life. Seeing that on TV and to know his story, that he had been busking on the subways for 10 years, and I had been working with him in between, and then the episode comes out, and I see him in front of 60,000 people. It was like watching my kid. I, I, I can't get over it. I've watched it so many times over, and it always tugs on that heartstring of just like, music can do anything.